and welcome to a Ink on 3 and Pear Blossom Press collaboration called Making Video. Uh, we recently, me and the, the design teams from um, Ink on 3 and Pear Blossom Press, we recently had a little Instagram uh, collaboration hop um, uh, where we all used Ink on 3 stamps and goodies and uh, the EC lights from Pear Blossom Press to do like interactive light up cards. So I have started out by heat embossing the amazing magical unicorn stamp with the Gold Rush Ultra Fine Embossing Pad from Ink on 3. I had the idea right away that I wanted to use this stamp set and make the horn. Is a horn or spear? It's probably a unicorn horn, isn't it? Or yeah, it is horn, isn't it? Hmm, thinking chubby rhinoceros. No, that's chubby unicorn. Hmm. Right, I completely lost my train of thought now. So let's get back to what I do know for sure. So I decided to uh, watercolor this with the re inkers from uh, the Atelier inks. What I've done is uh, I've taken a few drops, or, well, I say a few drops, but quite a few drops, uh, and then I've mixed them with liquid pixie dust to create shimmery watercolors. Oh yes, I did. And it comes out amazing, really, really amazing. I have also added a little bit of water to make sure that the watercolor is, is not super, I say watercolor, but the re ink is the color isn't super, super opaque right away. So I wanted to have quite a, a fluid color to make sure that I can get the blending easily done. Uh, but you will see that I will go back and forth and back and forth and add more color and blend and blend and blend and blend. And um, I did, I think I even actually, after I stopped filming, once it was all dry, I did go back in on the main and added a little bit more color just to really sort of get it super, deep and vibrant and shimmery, of course, as well. So my idea right away, as I said, before I started mumbling off there and going off like a crazy person, was that I wanted to make the horn light up. So once I had finished coloring the, the panel, I used the scalpel and I cut out the bits inside of the horn. Uh, you will see that uh, sooner as well. Sooner? Later. <laughs> it's later. You will see that a little bit later as well in uh, the video. Uh, and I'm just using like one of those sort of paper scalpels um, and very, very carefully, although it is in a time lapse. So it looks like I'm just kind of going willy nilly with that knife all over the place, but I really am not. So uh, uh, once I had cut all those a little bits out, I then put a bit of um, acetate on the back of it. And for some reason, I, I kind of toyed with the idea of kind of maybe making it both a shaker card and a light up card at the same time. But then I thought, well, no, that's just preposterous because a unicorn wouldn't have like a, a shaky horn, would they? I mean, yeah, I feel like I'm going off on a tangent again. So, um, I'm gonna try to rein it in and stick to the actual card making. All right, so um, we're just finishing off the coloring here now, and this is the cutting bit. So as you can see, it's just, I have a couple of different scalpels, and um, I managed to get a quite good cut with this first one, although it was, as I said, it was a bit slow going, and you had to be careful because if you cut the embossed lines, then you know, you'll get, that, that will show, and that's just not gonna look pretty. But here, in this little bit now, uh, this is how easy they are. This next little clip is less than a minute and a half long, and that is how long it takes to open the packet, separate the bits, insert the battery, and the lights just work. I mean, you could possibly, I think you could possibly not make this easier. I don't think you can at all make this any easier than it actually is. And for somebody who is very bad with technology and all sorts of stuff like that, like I have not gotten on with any of the other ways of making a light up card at all. But this is pure brilliance. I mean, it's already done, it's all put together and 
apart from a little bit of fiffle, fiffle faffle, they're trying to separate the pieces. It is literally the easiest thing ever. You just take the battery, you put it in, you press the button and they light up. Yeah, I know, magic. So here we are. I mean, this was like, I had never, I hadn't opened this packet beforehand either. So this was literally filmed as I opened it for the first time and made it happen. And I might've done a little bit of a jig there too, but you know, I, I'm very easily impressed when it comes to this sort of stuff because I'm so bad at it myself. Anyway, so on the back of it, I added lots of foam tape, but what I should have done is I should have added more because I realized once um, the lights were in and I turned it on, sadly, it kind of, it doesn't look as good as I was hoping. It actually looks better in the light rather than in the dark. So that was a bit of a bad thing for me. But again, this is where I get for just jumping in feet first without sort of trying anything at first time. Can you see this? It's just, it wasn't great. But anyway, I did also stamp a, a sentiment at the bottom that says, um, you are a magical unicorn. And then I heat embossed some little uh, stars and that's where the press button is. So that's it for me today. Hope you like the card and uh, all my fiffle faffle people babbling. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit me up for more fun YouTube videos.